morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever you are watching this video. Good day to you and thank you for watching. Okay, today is an update of a video I made last night in my Don't Move to Dallas series. And I just want to clarify a couple of things. In my Don't Move to Dallas series, I find quick little stories from Instagram and make two to three minute videos of reasons why you shouldn't come to this wretched city known as Dallas. I had, and when I realized how serious the story was, I had planned on doing a more in-depth follow-up story. In my defense, the Jack Daniels, Apple, and Coke Zero won. So I didn't get to do the updated story I had planned on doing. So, you know, blame it on the a a a a a alcohol. But now I'm back, and I'm going to uh, do a couple of updates. And I want to thank the people, a few people in the comments who are true 5150 mental patients for um, for your rage and misplaced anger. It actually helped me go ahead and do the proper research. And now that I've, I've also seen in this story that there is video footage of the manager overly attacking these two victims to the right. Boiling hot water is not a legal defense to people going around the counter. What the ladies did was wrong going around the counter, but to throw boiling hot water on them. And as they ran away, she got more hot water and attacked them. So the villain in this story is definitely the Taco Bell manager. And by default, the victims are the two young ladies who were viciously attacked by boiling water. And she will be criminally charged. That's just me off the cuff saying that before I actually read the, um, the news article, which somebody pointed out to me. Did I even research? No, not really. I read um, a story off of Instagram that was related to Dallas, like I do in my Don't Move to Dallas series. I, I do not understand why people... Wait, let me stop. Let me go ahead and read the story. Two Dallas customers say they were they sustained serious burns when a manager at a Dallas store poured scalding water on them as they complained about an incomplete order, a lawsuit claims. The lawsuit claims this. There's also video footage, which I will show in the middle of this, but this there is now a lawsuit. The lawsuit against the restaurant chain, Taco Bell, publicized Tuesday by one of the attorneys for the plaintiffs, Civil rights lawyer Ben Crump. Ben Crump does not take cases that, well, let me read further. If you want to know more about Ben Crump, look him up. These ladies have a legitimate case is what I'll say. But anyway, let me keep going. Claims Brittany Davis and a minor identified only as CT, which we'll later see as her niece, were left with permanent skin damage and lifelong change to their appearance from the incident. The suit filed July 13th in a Dallas district court alleges Taco Bell and workers at the restaurant displays gross negligence in hiring negligence, negligence, excuse me, y'all, that set in motion the alleged attack. And let me continue on. Sorry, there was a slight ad that got in the way there. In a statement, Taco Bell said, it takes the safety of workers and customers seriously. Sorry for the background noise. I live in a condo and a plane's going by. Seriously, in that it has, it has been in touch with the franchise owner and operator described in the suit. The company declined further comments, citing depending litigation. Taco Bell's parent company, Yum Brands, an original franchise entity, North Texas Bells, which are also named in the suit, did not respond to requests for comment. The suit also names Jane and John Doe, workers the plaintiffs have made unable to identify. Um, they didn't actually do the attack, so uh, they're, they're not going to get very far in suing them. They didn't attack those two women. That one woman single in the video shows acted alone. But anyway, continuing. Taco Bell and North Texas Bells did not immediately respond to requests for comment from the employees. The Dallas Police Department said it is investigating the incident after the customers identified by lawyer Paul Grink as Davis and her niece reported that they had been burned. The department said a Taco Bell employee also claimed to have been assaulted. 
Grink denied the allegation and said it is hard to imagine a scenario where it would be okay to pour scalding hot water all over a female minor. She did. She poured it on a, a person who was a minor and also the adult. The incident occurred June 17th when the pair failed to receive the order at a Dallas Taco Bell drive thru and I'm sorry, y'all. Order at a Dallas Taco Bell and went through the drive thru a second and third time in an un in unsuccessful attempts to get their order fixed, according to the lawsuit. Now, on a quick personal note, this uh, location is actually a few blocks from my home. Um, so, yes, again, Apple Jack Daniels Coke Zero. Not my fault. I didn't realize that till very late last night and there was no way I was going to be making an update in my state of mind. But anyway, in the story, as I said in my initial Don't Move to Dallas story, the order was repeatedly wrong and the ladies did go inside. And the location was closed at the time. So let me go ahead and keep reading. After being denied, the two parked and walked to the location's dining room, which was closed at the time, the suit said, which I don't know how they got in. If it was closed, but okay. Sorry about that, y'all. Let them in and locked it again behind them, it said. That the employee let them in and then locked the door behind her after she uh, let them in. Which is interesting. Initially, that seemed nefarious that she locked the door behind them. But in the initial Instagram story that I read, it didn't say it was closed. So now I understand that the location was closed. They probably forgot to lock it, let them in, relock the door. And then from that point, things went very wrong. When asked for their order to be corrected, the employees refused. One employee challenged CT to a fight. This is alleged per uh, the people who were burned. And then a manager who hadn't spoken when poured, uh, hadn't spoken, then went and got a, a hot boiling water, doused CT's face, and getting water on her chest and the uh, miner's chest, claims the suit. So I have to ad-lib a little bit there. The editing was off in the article. The two tried to flee, but was, were stalled by the locked door, the suit said. By then, the manager had returned with a second bucket of water, but they escaped before the second attack. Restaurant workers, and now this is claimed per the people who were attacked. I don't believe we see this on camera. I've researched that part. We, I, don't, I have not seen where that's on camera where they followed them out in the parking lot. But it's alleged restaurant workers followed the injured pair outdoors, laughed, taunted, and clapped at them before they could drive away, the filing claims. Okay, let me correct myself from earlier then. So if those were the people from earlier who are included in a lawsuit, I see now that's why they're included. Family members rushed Davis and CT to a hospital where some of Davis's skin came off with her clothes, and she was treated and ended up with deep burns to her chest and stomach, the suit said. Both were transferred to Parkland Hospital for additional treatment. The suit claims Davis also suffered an issue, uh, well, suffered an injury to her brain function, excuse me, which triggered at least 10 seizures before she made it to Parkland. Oh, goodness. CT had burns on her face, leg, chest, arms, and stomach, according to the lawsuit, which said her mother removed mirrors from her home because her daughter couldn't bear to see her own face. Oh, my gosh. The burns on her face will cause discoloring and scarring that will forever impact her self-image, the lawsuit stated. The pair seeks a million dollars in damages. And this is a statement from the lawyers, I believe. All of this could have been prevented had Taco Bell placed human decency and customer service over a few dollars that it would have caused to get the plaintiff's order right, the lawsuit alleged. Crump and Grink said they believe companies have a responsibility to hire people who respect safety and security at the workplace. And again, this is the rest of their statement. Not only did Brittany and CT suffer physical trauma because of the burns, the attorney, the attorney said in a statement, but they will now live with the psychological trauma that comes with an attack like this. Hmm. I'm curious to see something because I did see the presumable race of the woman who poured the boiling hot water. I'm now curious to see the presumable race of the people who allegedly clapped and taunted the women in the parking lot. I wonder if they were of Latin, Caucasian, or African-American descent. And you might say that's not relevant, but oh, it's very relevant. 
And as this case unfolds, we will find out how relevant that is. But um, I'm going to end the video with the footage from the vicious attack by the manager. Those two ladies, one a minor, did go behind that counter. We were not clearly able to see whether or not they harmed or attacked anyone. We will find out as this case unfolds. But what we saw in the video did not warrant boiling hot water. That's one charge for that manager. The second more, vi the second more serious charge for the manager will come in the form of her getting that second pot of boiling water. That's where her criminal charge just increased. But anyway, thank you for watching. And again, thank you for comments in the prior video. Um, I encourage all of you who want to make sure and point out to people what they did in research and your personal opinions and your strange political stances to start a YouTube channel and make your own videos and get the facts just right and do it for every story. And, and I just want you all to see how time consuming that can be. No human can always do it right. We do our best. Um, I found many articles on this story and I can read every article and I will never 100% get every detail specifically because you know why? I wasn't there and neither were you all. So I can only go by the news article and the footage in the video, which shows the woman a second time after the women fleed throwing boiling water on them. I saw that. That's on video. So she, the manager, will be charged. Even if the ladies, what they did by initially approaching her, the manager may have been able to get away or get a very small charge or even get off, possibly, because the ladies went behind the counter. But once those ladies turned and fled and she went after them, that's when the whole thing just became a lawsuit. It was a lawsuit before, to be honest. But that's when it really became a lawsuit. Once she made that action. And she will be sued personally on top of Taco Bell. She's in a lot of trouble. But anyway, here's the film footage. Thank you for watching. Bye. Okay, so what you all are seeing here is the two ladies on the other side of the counter where they should be. And then you will see them slowly around behind the counter, which at that point the boiling water is thrown on them. The manager is still going to be criminally charged though, even though you all think those two ladies are justified, or even though you all think some of y'all think the manager is justified, the law works a certain kind of way. And it's not going to work in the manager's favor. The throwing the boiling hot water initially was one thing, right? But once the girls fled, she ran after them with an additional pot or gallon of hot water. That's when her criminal charges just, so you see them running? They run away from her. She runs after them to throw more boiling water on them. She's going to be criminally charged for that. So I don't know what planet y'all live on, but she will be criminally charged for that. That first one is one thing. The second one, yeah. She's in a lot of trouble.